It is the year 0079 of the Universal Century. A half century has passed since Earth began moving its burgeoning population into gigantic orbiting space colonies. Above the planet float hundreds of enormous cylinders with artificial living environments so that people can live as though they were on Earth. Nine months ago, the cluster of colonies furthest from the Earth called Side 3 proclaimed itself the Principality of Xeon and launched a war of independence against the Earth Federation. Initial fighting lasted over one month and saw both sides lose half their respective populations. People were horrified by the indescribable atrocities that had been committed in the name of independence. Eight months had passed since the rebellion began. They were at a stalemate. Universal Century 0079, September 18th. The Federation Forces' top-of-the-line warship, the White Base, which launched from headquarters in Jaburo, was on a mission to take possession of the Gundam, the gun tank, and the gun cannon, the Federation's first prototype mobile suits. The ship was docked at Side 7, the mobile suit's final testing area. Unfortunately, the ship was spotted by a squadron led by Lieutenant Commander Shar Aznable, also known as the Red Comet. Shar dispatched three Zaku mobile suits with strict orders to reconnaissance inside the space colony. mobile suits and hungry for glory, the Zaku pilots took the initiative and attacked the area. The assault caught the Federation by surprise, and the situation proved disastrous. Among the terrified civilians fleeing to safety was one rather ordinary young man. Ah! Fraubo! Hey, can you hear me, Frau? Amaro! Oh, you gotta remain strong for me. Run to the spaceport. I'll catch up. Now go! Run! Huh? Look at that! 
It's on. Am I gonna make it in time? There are two Zeonzakus. What do I have for weapons? A beam rifle, huh? But I can't use that inside the colony, can I? Head-mounted Vulcans. And a beam saber. I think I can do something with these. Okay, Zakus, watch out! Gundam Rising Look out! The enemy's mobile suit has started to move on its own! I thought it was all just unassembled parts! <sighs> Please get up! Come on! I can't fire a beam rifle inside the colony. I'll just have to fire with Vulcan's and beam saber. Somehow, I really did it. Your piloting skills have really come into their own. It's truly something. A civilian kid named Amaro Ray. Thanks to his actions in the Gundam, we somehow managed to survive the Xeon attack. However, during the battle, most of the regular soldiers were either wiped out or wounded. Of those fit for combat, barely a handful were left. This is how civilians came to operate the Federation's latest warship, the White Base, and its prototype mobile suits, including the Gundam. This highly classified military hardware was now in the hands of young men and women who were still only teenagers. Drop it now! Take off the helmet and turn the other way! She's... she's much too strong to be Artesia. Was that my brother? After leaving Side 7, the White Base escaped into the frontline space base Luna 2. We were subsequently ordered to head for Jaburo, Federation Forces General Headquarters in South America. The order was issued by Commandant Joaquin, and so the White Base set out once again, this time bound for Earth. But, Shar would not sit idly by and watch it happen. Now we shall see. Let's test the reaction time of your brand new mobile suit. The ship will re-enter Earth's atmosphere in eight minutes. Launch now, Gundam. Slow down those Zakus. Just watch your altitude. Otherwise, you'll burn up in the atmosphere. How am I gonna watch my altitude when I'm fighting four Zeon Zakus? I know you can do it, Amaro. <sighs> I'm in way over my head. Step onto the catapult!
Gundam. I'm ready. Despite Shar's relentless pursuit, we evaded his attack and were able to enter Earth's atmosphere. Crown, we can't open our capsule or we'll burn up too. But you did lure the enemy down with you. Death with honor. The White Base and its crew made a successful re-entry marking the beginning of our odyssey to Jaburo. Amuro and the Gundam also managed to make it through alive. It was a small victory for our side. However, Shar proved to be more than a match for us. His attack threw the ship off its intended course. We were now far from our goal. Instead, we found ourselves right in the middle of Xeon-controlled territory. Maybe the Red Comet was right. Compared to other Federation ships I fought against in the past, this one does look like it'll be a real beast. The enemy airborne units have closed in now and are currently positioned above us. Since the white base is following this cliff, it's only a matter of time before we're destroyed. For that reason, I've decided to stage a counterattack with everything we've got before they can make their forces ready. Ryu and Hayato, you'll go out on the gun tank and give the white base some backup. Leave it to us, Mr. Bright. I'll have Hayato be the gunner. Yes, sir. Furthermore, it's very likely that the enemy has also stationed ground forces along our course. Amuro and the Gundam will clear our path. Kai and the gun cannon will provide support for the Gundam. Any questions? I'll do what I can. I guess my opinion's got nothing to do with anything. But look, Mr. Bright, all I'm gonna do is fire my guns from underneath White Base. That's it. We're not gonna get our pensions if we kick the bucket now, will we? I'll handle the paperwork. All hands, prepare for launch. I'm counting on you. Winds of War. Gun tank, move into launch position. Correct for balance and then make your descent. Hayato, we're heading out. Let go of the safety valve at the moment the gun cannon comes out. Roger. If Amuro can do this, so can I. I'll give it my best shot anyway. Try to have a little more confidence in us, Kai. You always know how to make me feel better, Sayla. Kai, we're counting on you. I'll try my luck, Cannon. Watch! Course is clear. Amuro, be careful. Thanks. Go!
units. Watch out for that white one. Take out the Trojan horse and stop those mobile suits too. White mobile suit, how about we test your reaction time on terra firma? Char, retreat! We're gonna have to reassess that mobile suit and come up with a better strategy. Yes, I'll retreat, Garma. Amuro, the enemy is retreating. Return to the ship. Good work. Okay. You're a natural, gifted. It's very clear to me you've got abilities within you I couldn't even imagine. The White Base suffered heavy damage in an attack by a battalion led by Garma Zabi, son of Dagwin Zabi, the Sovereign of Zeon. Having withstood the onslaught, the White Base rendezvoused with the Supply Squadron led by Lieutenant Matilda Ajan for repairs and provisions. Lieutenant Matilda took some of the wounded and refugees aboard her ship. The White Base was ordered to proceed westward with its remaining crew but was given no escort. Lieutenant Matilda, I'm puzzled. Why aren't there new orders from HQ for our ship and crew? I'm not sure, but General Revel says if the White Base can fight as a battle cruiser, then it's no different than a fully commissioned ship. The Federation forces are experiencing some very tough times. Take heart. When it seems there's no hope, don't forget that there are people out there who have not abandoned you. Ms. Matilda. Uh -huh. Without your fighting skills with Gundam, I'm sure my supply plane would have been destroyed. Thank you. I believe you may be a psychic. Mm, not me. Good luck. Uh, thank you. Stand by for orbital correction. Char, please inform me once you spot the Trojan horse or the mobile suit. I'll destroy them with the Gao. I'll do exactly as you requested. Good luck to you, Char. And may the glory of victory be yours. If we can get through this, we'll enter Federation-controlled airspace. But it looks like the enemy has set up a defense line, too. The White Base will conceal itself in the dome, then wait for a chance to attack the bulk of the enemy's main forces. Amaro, you'll attack the enemy mobile suits with the Gundam and act as a decoy until we've completed our preparations. Understood. I'm counting on you. Ryu and Hayato, stand by in the gun tank. Kai, stand by in the gun cannon. We'll wait for a chance to attack the enemy's main forces, then wipe them out in a concentrated attack. Okay, all or nothing. Let's give it a shot. I just hope we don't get blown to smithereens before we get our chance. <laughs> Oh. 
Garma's fate. Somehow, deliberately misleading my own soldiers doesn't sit well with me. Amuro! The enemy mobile suits have dropped! We're relying on you. Roger. Launch!
white mobile suit seems to be attempting to lure us out into the open. Which means the Trojan horse must be right behind us. I get it. That's a pretty good strategy. Garma, the mobile suit is running away. The Trojan horse should be right up ahead. Hurry! Okay! Concentrate your firepower on the enemy planes! Fire! You're an ace pilot like no other, Amaro. Second to none. Not even the Red Comet. Hey, Garma, do you read me? Blame this on the misfortune of your birth. <sighs> Don't take it personally. Thank your father. Char, you double-crossed me! Uh, I'll ram the gow into the Trojan horse. Uh. I am a son of the zombie family. I'll go in glory! And long live the Principality of Sion! After finally escaping Xeon controlled territory, we again rendezvoused with Lieutenant Matilda's supply squadron. A state funeral for Garma Zabi was held in the Principality of Xeon, and the proceedings were broadcast to the world. The speech given by Giran Zabi, the Xeon Force's supreme commander, made it clear how threatening the Xeons could be with the Zabi family as dictators. We have lost a hero to our glorious noble cause, but does this foreshadow our defeat? No, it is a beginning! It has been over 50 years since the elite of Earth, consumed by greed, took control of the Earth Federation. We want our freedom. Never forget how the Federation has trampled us again and again. The Principality of Xeon, we've had an arduous fight to achieve freedom. Our struggle is sacred, our cause divine. My beloved brother Garma Zabi was sacrificed. I ask you why? Because he was spoiled. For the moment, the war is at a stalemate. Perhaps many of you have become complacent. Karma has left us so that you would open your eyes to the crisis that threatens us. This is only the beginning of our war. Rise, our people! Rise! Take your sorrow and turn it into anger! Zeon thirsts for the strength of its people! Hail Zeon! Hail Zeon! Hail Zeon! Hail Zeon! Nonsense! Hail He's trying to turn Zion. the Zabi family into a world Hail dictatorship! Zion. We've discovered an enemy base up ahead. It's a small scale frontline station with little strategic value, but it's too late for us to turn around and avoid it now. Fortunately, we haven't been spotted yet. The white base will hold its position here. We'll stage an attack on the enemy with the Gundam, gun cannon, and gun tank. Obliterate the base! Hey, it's a nice change of pace to be on the offensive. I'll say we're always on the receiving end of attacks. Since it's a fortress we're up against, the best strategy is to go in with the gun tank first and we'll give it cover. You're right. If any enemy mobile suits get involved, I'll have trouble fighting them in the gun tank. How about Amaro and Kai providing backup, Mr. Bright? That okay with you? Sure, Ryu. It's your call. 
Right! Then that's that! The threat of Xeon. Okay, commence operation. Roger, you got it. Gundam, moving ahead. I guess we don't call it guarding the base for nothing. Power of time. They're performing a defensive maneuver. I'm taking the gun tank straight in. Cover me. Roger. Roger. So, that's the white mobile suit that I've heard so much about? Gather all the data on the mobile suit. It's a duck! No! That thing is a new kind of mobile suit! It's got more armor and more power than a duck! It's completely different! Gundam. Harmon, we're pulling back. What? What's that? He ran away. Or maybe he maybe he just spared us. You're an ace pilot like no other, Amaro, second to none.
Not even the Red Comet. We received word that the White Base would participate in Operation Odessa, the Earth Federation Force's great counteroffensive. We changed our original course for Jaburo and instead set out to cross the Pacific, making our way to Europe. Lieutenant Matilda had mentioned earlier that Amaro might be psychic. Amaro's abilities, in fact, continued to grow. The term new type was introduced, a theory of human evolution proposed by Zeon Zoom Daikun. But when one person's abilities far surpass those of everyone else, problems will arise. It disrupts the harmony of the group. Amaro was ignoring orders and venturing out in his mobile suit without authorization. His cocky behavior made him very conspicuous. So Mira, you really believe that Amaro is a new type? Well, I can't come up with any other explanation for the amazing things that he's done since we left Side 7. You may be right, but there's no proof. Our primary concern right now is how we're going to survive. They say that new types are the next step in human evolution. If that's what's happening to Amaro, then... We can't wait for that boy to mature. I'm going to take Amaro off the Gundam and... Right! If he feels like we're relying on him, he's going to get a swelled head and eventually do something that'll put us all in danger. Mirai, I want us to agree on this. <gasps> Amaro! So you overheard us. <laughs> Amaro! Let him go. It's just as well, Mirai. Now we don't have to worry about explaining it all to him. I, I don't know. There's another mine like this located roughly 50 kilometers to the north, my lady. This must be it. I found the Xeon mine that General Revel plans to take on Odessa Day. If I take out this mine with Gundam, then I'll save the Federation from having to mobilize. Let's see what Bright and Mirai do then. I bet they won't mess around with me again. I have my main weapon which I took from the white base, the beam rifle. Okay, I have plenty of energy. The mining base is so huge, and their defensive firepower looks challenging. First, I'll try to target the main facility and any buildings with gun turrets. It's really the mega particle cannons that I have to watch out for, but if I hit my targets, I'm sure the whole base will be paralyzed. Okay, let's do it! Cross of Sand. I'm gonna show Bright once and for all. I'll prove to him that I'm the best pilot for Gundam. I'd better hit those mega particle gun turrets first.
opportune time for me to show Lady Cecilia the Ansem's true potential. What's that? Sending in newer weapons! At the rate I'm going, one of these days Gundam's response time won't be able to keep up with me! Oh, wow! You think Gundam managed to do this all on its own? Can't you come up with any other possibility? Amuro doesn't even know this wasn't their main base. That's right. If it were, it wouldn't have fallen so easily to a single Gundam. What has he done? Guess we have to assume that because of Gundam, the enemy will be digging their heels in harder than ever, and we'll all be paying the price. <sighs> Frau Bo! Amuro? Who does he think he is? He's so selfish. What the Gundam had actually destroyed was merely one of numerous mining bases operated by the Zeons. As a result of Amuro's foolish actions, the enemy was put on a heightened state of alert. It's good time. Finally, we can get some grub. This way, please, Ms. Haman. Bartender, start us off with some good old water. Well, you don't have much here. We'll take 14 of whatever you can make. Ma'am? Hmm? You ordered an extra one, Haman? One for the young man over there. I don't uh, know how to say this. I really appreciate your generosity, but I can't accept your offer. No. I'm not a charity case, so there's no reason why you should buy me anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, the boy's got you there, Haman. This one's pretty sharp. Lieutenant. I found a suspicious character. She's just a kid. Fraubo. Well, dear, I believe she is the young man's girlfriend. Hmm. Amaro? Let the girl go. But, sir, just do it. You've got the eyes of a soldier. Uh? <laughs> that certainly takes a lot of guts, boy. I'm really impressed with you, Amaro. That's your name, isn't it? Yes, sir. If we happen to meet on the battlefield, it'll be different. The best of luck to you, Amaro. Uh, thanks, Mr. Romberall, and thanks, Ms. Haman. I really appreciate it. Amaro? <laughs> Let's go. Hey, sir. Follow those kids, Sagan. If their federation, the Trojan Horse, should be around here somewhere. Sir. Oh no! Fraubo must have been followed! 
the enemy's gotta be that guy! That Gallop Ground Combat Ship and that new Guff Mobile Suit! The Guff is more than a match for the gun cannon and gun tank. I've gotta get past the Gallop and figure out how to slow the Guff down! No way am I gonna let him take out the White Base! Rambaral's attack. Don't let the enemy get near the white base. Man, Amaro, you sure picked the rotten time to leave. <laughs> I made it behind the enemy. If the white base can hold out, the best option would be for me to destroy that gallop thing first. Oh, what do I do? But don't forget that you owe it all to that mobile suit's abilities and nothing more. You're a sore loser. Good job, Amaro. But... It seems like you're getting further and further away from us every day. Regardless of his reason, Amaro committed a serious offense by commandeering the Gundam and deserting the ship. We confined him to the brig as punishment. Rambaral's platoon then stormed the White Base and challenged us to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Me, Lady Artesia, it's you! Um... Yes, look at you. There can be no doubt you're Artesia, all right. Do you remember me? My name is Rambaral, the son of Jimbaral, who served in the revolution under your father, Zeon Daikun. Huh? <gasps>
Well, if I am Artesia, stop pointing that gun at me! But why are you aboard a Federation vessel? <gasps> Sayla, stand back! Ah! Careless! <laughs> no! Ryu! Ramaral, please stop it! That boy in the Gundam is in my way again. You have fought splendidly, but now you'll see the ultimate fate that awaits true warriors! The White Base sustained extensive damage during the attack. Those who had watched the Xeon Warrior die could not shake the painful fact that the enemies we had fought against were real, live human beings. Ryu pulled through, but was badly injured. The launch of Operation Odessa grew steadily closer, and we rendezvoused once again with Lieutenant Matilda's supply squadron. Along with our regular resupplies, we were given upgrade modules for the Gundam. However, upon our departure, three terrifying shadows darkened our path. Unidentified enemy objects are closing in at high speed. They appear to be mobile suits. The White Base and the Medea are under repair. They're both immobile and will need cover. Hayato, you launch in the gun tank. Kai, you're in the gun cannon. Amaro, go on ahead in the Gundam and intercept the enemy. If necessary, Sailor will join you in the new fighter. Soldiers of Sorrow. It's good that I can now operate the controls in the upper cockpit. But can I pull this off? Hey, Hayato, you sure you want to go solo from now on? I'll be fine. No, you can do it, Sayla. You're a new type, aren't you? Are you trying to be sarcastic? A new type isn't a jack of all trades, you know. Launch!
I saw her. I know I did. Ms. Matilda. Excellent. Amaro, you're not like the rest of us any longer, are you? The grievous loss of Lieutenant Matilda was a sacrifice far too great. In exchange for her life, we destroyed the Black Tri-Stars, Zeon's ace unit, but the tragedy did not end there. This is the end. <gasps> oh. ah! Amara was saved by Ryu during Crowley Hammond's attack, aimed at avenging her beloved Ramba Rall, but Ryu's brave act meant the loss of his life. Precious friends were dying in battle one by one. Though we experienced grief and hardship at the loss of each crew member, we were aware this was trivial compared to the colossal battle known as Operation Odessa. We express our sorrow for our comrades who were lost in Operation Odessa. May you rest in peace. All hands salute. If only I were a better pilot. I'm sorry I couldn't save you, Miss Matilda. Ms. Matilda. Ms. Matilda. Ms. Matilda. Ms. Matilda. Ms. Matilda. Operation Odessa ended in victory for the Federation forces. The white base docked at our station in Belfast, Ireland. We had been briefed about the enemy's newly designed mobile suits in preparation for our voyage to Jaburo, South America. But we had been detected. Under the command of Captain Shar, a Xeon submarine fleet was rapidly closing in on Belfast. The enemy is a submarine fleet and a squad of amphibious mobile suits. The base defense team is retaliating, but we've received a request to lend our support. The Gundam and the gun cannon will intercept any mobile suits that have come ashore. Right. Kai left earlier and he still hasn't come back to the ship. How dare he run off on his own? We can't afford to wait. I'll lead the gun cannon to Hayato. Sayla, you give support from the air. Do not let the enemy near the dock. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Once the gun tank's repaired, I'll send it out with Omer or Joe. Kai isn't coming back, is he? We don't need to worry about anyone who's not here right now. Amaro, when you're ready to take off, I'll open the dock's forward hatch. Roger! across the Atlantic Ocean. I could do it, then so can I. Kaito, the enemy's an amphibious model. Avoid combat along the beach. Yeah, I know. They sure made these gongs or whatever pretty slow, but they didn't skip on armor or firepower.
reinforcements. Ah, they just keep coming. What? The tank? Hey there, buddy. Like to dance to this tune? <laughs> I see you decided to come back. I couldn't stand watching you struggle. I get the feeling your abilities are unusual. Yes, just like Char, the Red Comet. That's Jaburo, but I can't see anything at all. Hey, there! Although we had fallen under enemy attack after departing Belfast, we ultimately managed to arrive at Jaburo, Federation Forces General Headquarters. Our journey was over. Or so we thought. Our stopover was about to meet an abrupt end. We're being supplied with another gun cannon. It should be fully operational. Hayato and Kai, you're both going out in gun cannons to guard the armored hatch in B block. Enemy troops have already been dropped. Prevent them from getting inside. Yes, sir. Amuro will take Gundam and intercept the enemy task force that's infiltrated here. Don't let the enemy get into the spaceship dock. The base defense team's mass-produced gym mobile suits have been deployed too. But we have a lot more experience with mobile suit warfare. Help them out as much as possible. Yes, sir. Launch as soon as you're ready. Frau Bo, Mirai, assemble the information from GHQ on the double. Yes, yes sir.
Tragedy in Jaburo. Innocent people suffer. I'm gonna crush the Zeons! Amuro here, Gundam launching. in it? It's gotta be! It's him! He's come back to fight us!
<sighs> Are my balancers malfunctioning? This pilot, he actually poses a challenge to me. Who in the world is he? They're not getting away! Captain Shar, the drop forces have been nearly wiped out. I'll handle things here. Please, Captain, you've got to withdraw. There doesn't seem to be much of a choice. <laughs> Good job! You better return to the white base now. Roger. Amazing. So this is what the combat abilities of a new type are. With you aboard, the white base will be safe. So that's what you've been planning all along? You want the white base to specialize in decoy operations? <gasps> ah, it is you. My brother Casfall was such a nice person. Who's in charge here? The name's Lieutenant Slager Law, and I've just been transferred to the White Base. Huh? Talk about good luck. I happen to get assigned to the same ship as someone as good looking as you. <sighs> Mirai Yashima's the name. Pleasure. <sighs> Guys are clear. White base 
permission to ascend. Look over to port side if you have a minute and you'll be able to see a flock of flamingos. That'd be great on video. Well, go ahead and tape it. The Xeon's drop operation on Jaburo ended in failure. Judging from the outcome of this battle, the Federation forces on the Earth were looking ever more victorious. The Federation's main forces would lift off from Jaburo into space to fight the final stage of this war. The White Base, dubbed the 13th Autonomous Corps, would fly ahead of the fleet to serve as a decoy. UC 0079, December 2nd. The fighting has been fierce, and it will continue to grow more intense. to last forever, except by living under the control of Zeon's chosen superior race. We must teach the slow-witted people of the Federation a lesson, one they will never forget. This is the hour for mankind to stand up for the future. Hail Zeon! between the Federation forces and the Principality of Xeon erupted into an explosive battle. Amid this conflict, humankind was on the verge of witnessing a momentous change in itself. Captain, don't do it! Lala! Lala! People are changing. They're becoming like us. Yeah, I guess so. You're right, Lala. Oh, I'm not. Will humanity evolve into the new type? Within the flashes of light, the labor pains of humankind's transformation continues. You won't get away, Shar! The question is, who will survive? 